We are live on Facebook. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. It is fun, funnel Friday. Um, every time I think about that, I hear the progressive commercial, that emu, emu uh, in my head. So I'm like, I need a, I need a theme song for fun, funnel Friday. That's a tongue twister. Say that 10 times fast. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm just going to give a few minutes to one check to make sure we are actually live because Facebook likes to do that thing. Oh, we are perfect. And, um, to give some people some time to pop in. Uh, we also have Sally who's watching comments. If you guys have questions either in the group or on our Facebook page, we're in both places today. Uh, so if you have questions, comments, feel free to, um, pop in and Sally can either answer them or she can send them to me and I can answer them. Um, all right. Today, if you are, um, I am on the page. I am definitely on the page for sure. I can see that. <laughs> I cannot see the group, however. So if you want to monitor the group, Sally, that would be phenomenal. Today, hold on just one sec. There we go. Okay. So today we are talking about conversion rates. Conversion rates are sexy. And I believe that Maria um, sent out an email about a screenshot of our funnel this morning, which was really cool. And let me see if I can bring it up for y'all. Let's see. So what the screenshot was, was... Um, a, act, a literal screenshot of our funnel. And I'm going to share my screen really fast. Okay. So this is a screenshot of our funnel this morning. And um, what's interesting to note, she put a, like a big red box over um, and it says terrible conversion yet we're profitable. Why are we profitable? So I thought I would just take the very first fun funnel Friday and talk about some conversion rates for funnels and how um, price points affect conversion rates and your profitability and all of that good stuff. So you can see here, if you can see this um, on Facebook, fantastic. If you're listening to this on a podcast or something, I apologize. I'm going to try and talk you through it. The offer one, this is our micro offer funnel. We, and if you recall, micro offer funnels comprised of three um, or sorry, four products, there is the offer one with an order bump. So this is what you're looking at right here. This is offer one and, um, that's micro offer magic. And then the five day cash machine, plus the social apps and tools, um, that is our order bump. So the very front end of this consists of one offer one, $27 and our order bump, which is 19 bucks. The next step in our funnel, so that's what this offer to OTO sales page is. Um, the next step in our funnel is the five figure funnels with ease. So this is the, um, the course that teaches you how to build micro offer funnels. And the very next step is the micro offer traffic system, which is the Facebook ads course that teaches you how to uh, build micro offer um, ad campaigns through Facebook. So let's look at some numbers for offer one sales page. This is as of this morning. Now this has increased over the day. So I can't show you a true, um, a true screen grab right now. Cause the conversion rate has jumped up to about 6% this afternoon. So, but as of this time this morning, I think this was like, I don't know, 8am or something like that this morning, we had a 2% conversion rate on the front end. So you can see that giant red arrow there, 2.44% conversion rate. Now the av I will tell you that the average conversion rate for a micro offer funnel is anywhere between three and, um, three and 10% for the front end offer. So we're like just below that this morning. Now, um, there's a couple other numbers that we're looking at. We have a control and we have a variation. So we're basically splitting traffic between two, two offers or sorry, two different sales page. I think we're testing headlines at the current moment. 
So because of that, all the sales that we received from this morning came from the control and that control itself is converting at 5%. But because the variation also received traffic and had no sales, that's where we get 2.44% conversion rate. So why did we make money? <laughs> we shouldn't theoretically, right? But this is the beautiful thing about micro offer funnels. So the offer to when somebody purchases the front end offer, they get invited into offer number two for $47. They have the option to take that at a one click upsell, or they can say, no, thank you. The way we've set up our funnel is if they say, no, thank you, regardless of whether they buy it or not. So if they say, yes, I want this, or they don't say, no, I don't want it. Um, they will also see offer three. You could do this a little bit differently. You can put in a down sell so that if they say yes to offer two, they don't see offer three. It, um, if they say no to offer two, then they see offer three. So that's how you would do a down sell if you wanted to. We can even add in a down sell after offer three. So if they said no, thank you to offer three, we could put in a down sell to that. And, um, I don't know, maybe offer it at two, like two payments of whatever, but we didn't do that. So you can see that we have this one lonely little number right here. This is the number one, and this lines up with offer number three sales page. So at the time of this screenshot, we had one person buy our front end offer. They also added the five day cash machine. And they bought offer three, which goes for $127. You can see right here. So if we did not have offer number three, well, two or three, if we didn't have the ability for them to buy something else or add something else to their order, we would have lost our shirts this morning. So, um, the, I just wanted to share with you, even though we have a super low conversion rate on the front end, all you need is, you know, a, a sale here and there in your OTO two and OTO three to make up your money to break even or to make a sale. So let's stop sharing my screen, come back to you guys here. So conversion rates are sexy and this is how, and I say they're sexy because if you don't know them and if you don't know what your average conversion rate is, then, um, you have the ability to lose a lot of money and not know where to fix whatever issue that is. So in our case, the front end is, was this morning converting at about 2.4%. Now, since since we took that screen grab, I popped in there and we're at about 6% right now. So that's, that's ideal. That's where we want to be. Um, but if we, if we stayed consistently at two, two and a half percent or so, we would know, okay, there's a problem. There's a disconnect somewhere between the, the ad and when they get to the sales page, or there's just something about the sales page that's not converting them, that they're not going on to buy. And if they don't buy the front end, then obviously they can't see your other offers of your OTO one or OTO two. They don't get to buy your order bump. Like nothing works if your front end doesn't work. So what are some average conversion rates on the front end offer of your micro offer funnel? An average conversion rate is somewhere between three and 5%. Um, on the like super high unicorn end, we're also seeing anywhere between five and 15%, which is pretty awesome, um, but that's not super typical. And that's why it's important to have additional products in your product suite, your micro offer product suite, because one or two sales of your other products for every like five to 10 people is going to greatly increase your order value. And that's where you either break even depending on the price point or where you actually um, make your money. So that an average conversion rate 
of your front end offer is somewhere between three and 5%. An average conversion rate of your second offer is somewhere between 10 and 20%. And then an average conversion rate of your third offer is also somewhere between 10 and 20%. And when I say 10 and 20%, it's 10 and 10 to 20% of the people who purchased your front end offer. So let's say for instance, you have 20 sales of your front end offer, a 10% conversion rate of offer number two would be one sale. 20% conversion rate would be two sales. And then a 10 to 20% conversion rate of offer number three, depending on how you have it set up, if they're both upsells, you could expect a 10 to 20% conversion rate of your front end purchasers. If it's a down sell, um, Sorry, no, that's right. So either way, it's about 10 to 20% of your front end purchasers for offer number three, because they see it regardless. Um, if it were set up as a down sell, it would be a little bit different, but we can talk about that on another day when we talk about upsells and down sells. Um, all right. If you have a lousy conversion, where do you start tweaking as sales page offer? That's a good question. So how do you know and how long would you wait after changing one thing to move on to another thing to test? So that's a really good question. If the conversion rate, I think you have to look at your different assets and figure out what, um, where is the, the worst number? So if the, if you're not getting traffic to the page, so let's say let's say you have a terrible conversion rate on your front end and you look to see how much traffic you're actually receiving on the page and you're not getting a whole lot of traffic, then it's your ad. So your ad is not resonating with your audience and it's not bringing people to your page. But if your cost per click and your click-through rate are relatively good and you're getting a lot of traffic to your page, but your conversion rate is still bad, then you know that um, it's your sales page. And what, what we do when we, um, optimize our sales page is we look at what are the ads that are bringing in the people. So what are the, the most clicked headlines, the most clicked imagery? Um, if we're using testimonials and ads, we look at what is the most clicked testimonial. And then we try and match that on our sales page because they're, if there is a disconnect between your ad and the sales page, let's say um, on your ad, you're using like flowers and lots of colors um, and somebody gets to your sales page and it's like monotone, not a whole lot of color, um, then there's a disconnect in our brains. And whether somebody really realizes it or not, it's sometimes it's subconscious in their mind, they don't trust you anymore. So you want to have congruency between what's on your ad and what's on your sales page. And a lot of times the ad is the thing that's in front of a lot of people. So you can gauge what people are most interested in and what resonates with your audience based off of what they're clicking on in your ad. So that's why we like to do like a lot of rapid fire testing with dynamic creative on our ads so that we get an idea of like some headlines that um, are resonating with people the different types of colors that are resonating with people um, do like lifestyle images. Like if, if your most clicked ad is a picture of you and your picture is not on the sales page, that's a problem, right? If your most clicked ad, um, let's say it has a testimonial, but you have no testimonials on your sales page, like that's a problem. So really trying to marry the two, your ads and your sales page. Um, so you kind of work backwards and you look at, am I even receiving enough traffic to my page and what is enough? Uh, let's say like you're getting at least a hundred visitors to your page each day. So if you're not getting enough traffic to your page, you can't really gauge what your conversion rate is. So like, for instance, if you had a hundred people visit your page and two of them buy, that's a 2% conversion rate. So there's hundred people that visit your page and two of them buy, that's a 2% conversion rate. If you only have 50 people 
who visit your page in a given day um, and nobody buys, like it's, or one person buys, you know, that's like a 2% conversion rate or whatever. So like, if you have 25 people that visit your page, you know, what is 2% of 25 or what's 3% of 25? Like it's not a whole lot. So that's why we want to look and see how much traffic are you actually getting to your page first to gauge, um, whether your conversion rates, like whether we can even say it's the sales page, if you're not getting at least a hundred people to your sales page every single day, you need to do some work on the ads. Either you need to spend more money to bring more people in, or you need to uh, do some work to bring down your cost per click um, or your click through rate, or um, you maybe like need to do a video ad or you know just a traffic ad or something like that to just pushes people to the page. Um, you need to get enough traffic to your page before you can say, oh, my, my page, you know, does sucks or it doesn't work or whatever. And so a lot of times that's just, that's an ad issue. All right, my friends, I think that's all I have today for conversion rates. Um, the average conversion rate of your front end offer is somewhere between three and 5%. And on a good day, you know, it's, it can be anywhere between five and 15%. The average conversion rate on your second offer is between 10 and 20%. And your average conversion rate on your third offer is between 10 and 20%. All of these offers work together so that you don't lose money. Um, so you have to have pretty much all three offers in order to make money, um, or at least a significant amount of money because of the way the conversion rates shake out. If we didn't have our offer number two or offer number three at higher price points, we would have lost our shirt this morning because we had a 2.44% conversion rate, which equals out to one buyer. Um, let me have a look and see what that traffic shook out to be. 41. So we had 41 unique views to the page by the time that screenshot was taken, which resulted in one buyer um, at a 2.4% conversion rate. So obviously traffic matters. The amount of traffic you get to the page matters. Um, and then if we didn't have our other offers, we would have lost our shirt this morning. So if you don't know your numbers, you will never be able to grow or, or scale, or, you know, what isn't working. So it's important to understand your conversion rates for your funnel. And, um, we can give you guesstimates all day long, but we can't tell you what it's going to be for sure for you until you start running traffic through your funnel. So hopefully this helped. Fun funnel Friday. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below and I will answer them later if you're watching the replay. Um, otherwise, I will see you again next Friday for Fun Funnel Friday, where we are talking about uh, one specific aspect of funnels that can help you um, scale or optimize or tweak or just something cool that I think is interesting about funnels. <laughs>